to see you. Good to see you, my friend. I missed friend. you terribly. I was thinking about Lost today and how much I miss it, and I'm sure you're sick of hearing about that stuff, but... I'm not. You're I'm not, because uh, my wife tells me that often. She does, she yeah. She does. She does, She's yeah. Like, that was such a special time in her life. It really like, was. Like, what about now, baby? Now it's special, too. <laughs> but... Now yes, special too. It is special too. This Mark. show, Colony, is another show. You've been on two shows now that have this like kind of really intense following, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, I mean, Lost was crazy. There was the mob thing, and then just crazy questions coming out of the mob that you couldn't answer because you didn't know. Right. Part of the fun was not really knowing. It I was, think. Yeah. but this show, the fans are really intense about it. Their, their, their questions are intense and they want to know they want to know. And uh, maybe it's because of the current climate and maybe they want, they're using my show as a guidebook to what happens when a dictator takes over. <laughs> I don't know, but we'll see. Uh, <laughs> maybe they're looking for, yeah, they're, they're looking for tips. The, maybe. You uh, shoot the show where? Vancouver. Vancouver. Yes. Do you like shooting up there in Vancouver? I loved it. You do? I loved it. And the people are incredibly nice. Yes, right, for sure. I mean, incredibly nice. My wife and I had decided, we're like, you know what? We're in Canada. When in Rome, let's be nicer. Oh, let's really? Let's be considerate and patient. I like if, that. If possible. And then, you know, sometimes the American just creeps out in you. What happened? You, you can't contain it. What did you it. do to them? Ah, I know. <laughs> I, 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 mean, I don't know if the, if the guy's watching. I hope this guy's watching. So I go to the gym in the rain. Uh, because it's the natural Raining. state of Vancouver. Right. So I go in the rain and uh, work out hard, and I'm kind of still sweating and wet from the gym, and I'm in my car trying to get back because it's my wife's 40th coming up, and I have appointments. I have things to plan and, you know, everything to get going. So I'm coming out of the gym, and I'm stuck in traffic for a long time. I'm like, okay, it's, it's Canada. Relax. Don't get crazy. That, don't even let that blood boil. Let it, let it go down. So I'm chilling and chilling. About 25 minutes later, I'm shaking by now. Yeah, My right. American really wants to come out, right? I'm uh -huh. like, stop it. So I get to the front of the line, and there's this guy strutting around with his sign, like, having a blast, just poking in at people, like, stop. A traffic cop? Yeah, traffic guy, guy yeah. you know, not even a cop. No, not a cop, just uh, construction. It's the guy with work. the sign. Oh, I see. He's oh. coming up. And he's literally pointing at people with attitude with a stop sign. And, you know, and so I was getting very annoyed trying to be cool about it. And then <laughs> a very nice Canadian man leans out of his truck and says, hey, man, just to let you know, uh, traffic's backed up like three miles. Uh, maybe you should let someone through. And the guy's like, well, I'm just doing my job. And he starts strutting around, pointing at more people with a sign. <laughs> and I can't contain it. Now <laughs> the American just blows up in me, and I lean out the window, and I'm like, hey, you blankety blank, you better move your blank out of the way, or I'll run it the blank over. <laughs> and he, I mean, he froze like he'd seen a ghost. Like, <laughs> like, they don't use that kind of talk in Canada. I don't think they've seen that kind of language. And uh, he started shaking and, like, turning circles. Uh, like really? a dog didn't know what to do. And then he finally got an idea. He froze, he looked at me. And he turned around and he dropped his pants and mooned me so big. <laughs> oh, I mean, in the rain. I don't think that they've seen a lot of sun in Canada. I was like, woo! You know, and probably 40 cars. You know? It wasn't just me. He mooned everybody. I was like, wow. And I started laughing. I was like, good choice. I was like, yeah, well, I, I mean, how can you perfect no, you have diffusion? To, at that point, you've lost, and you have yeah, to just give I it. Thought, yeah, that is great. So I smile at him and nod and, and run the light anyway. And he's uh -huh. like, <laughs> so he chases me with his sign pointing still as I'm laughing and going, so I think it's so funny. Uh, I get home to my wife. I'm like, baby, you wouldn't believe, you know, I was really trying to be Canadian or more Canadian-like. Mm -hmm. And it just didn't work out for me this time. I kind of, it kind of blew. Uh, and I thought you'd think that was kind of funny what happened to me. I got mooned. I haven't been mooned since the 80s, I don't know. <laughs> you know, or maybe. So she gets mad at me because she's in the place of being a very good uh, oh, citizen. she was disappointed. And, yeah. and she was like, I'm so disappointed in you. You, uh -huh. you let it out. You couldn't contain it. She got so mad. And then, of course, I came back and was like, well, blah, blah, blah. So we have this little... She got mad, you got mad. We got yeah. mad. And right. then she's like, well, you're not coming to my 40th birthday party. <laughs> what? Wow. <laughs> Which you're planning. I was like, oh. So I got disinvited to the party. 
I get so upset that I decide to walk to the park. I go to the park uh, to calm down. And uh, I'm in the park about 15 minutes. I'm like, OK, I'm calm. I need to, I need to fix this situation because I, I need to get back to that birthday. After all, I'm planning it. Yeah. Uh, and so I decide to go back. I come around the corner. I put one foot on the stairs. I look up, and there's a massive black bear. A, a real bear? A big, a real bear. And you know, black bears are normally known to be a little smaller, but this is Canada. A big They're one. They're big. It's like they in look the like park. a grizz in the park on the same stairs as me. Did you invite it to the party? <laughs> <laughs> what did have, you do? Oh, well, I did the, the dumb thing they teach you in, in uh, you know, what to do when you face a bear. And I said, hey, bear! And he was like, yes. <laughs> and he, I was a little too close for the hey, bear. I, mean, I was like, bad choice, bad choice. So I slowly, I back up, get around a tree and haul ass, you know. Wow. To take off. But now I have to call the wife, because I asked some hikers, uh, after I tell them, turn around, put the leash on your dog, uh -huh. uh, there's a bear. And they're like, half mile that way up here, you come around to your car. So I'm jogging. I call the wife. <laughs> you know, I'm running. Uh, I'll be home a little later. She's like, why are you running? I said, I'm running from a bear. <laughs> and she's like, a bear! Oh, my god! I'm coming to save you! So, so she drives and comes and picks me up. So basically, all is forgiven. I get in the car. I'm back in the party. I'm reinvited to the birthday party. So I was on the outs from, uh, you know, a bare ass and on the ends with a bare face. Oh, yeah. So, uh, it was a scope of an hour. It all worked out. <laughs> it worked out. I love Josh Holloway, everybody. Colony premieres May 2nd, 10 o'clock on USA. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. An evil wizard has trapped me inside this YouTube video. Click subscribe to help me escape.